Hey, it's Howard G. Maskus from Kitty Caster FX. Welcome to today's video. And um, hey, thanks for all the response from last week's video. So to catch you guys all up, uh, we're working on a new fuzz pedal, and I'm going to talk about it more today. And we're having a naming contest because the pedal has no name yet. And I'm inviting you to suggest names, and if we pick your name, you're going to win the pedal that you named. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So there's been an epic number of responses so far. Um, we're still reviewing through all the suggestions because you guys have been sending them on the YouTube comments, on the DMs, on the email, Instagram comments, and that's great. Um, keep them coming. We really want someone to win a pedal. We want to pick one of your names, so keep them coming, and we'll keep uh, looking for the name. And until we have a name, we're just going to call it It or something. So here's It, and... Um, this is what it looks like. Last week we showed the breadboard, and this is the form it looks like now. And it's got two switches, four knobs, and this one has an LED. So some of you will recall that the Groovy Wizard here has no LED, and you're like, well, what's going on with that? Why not? And in that circuit, the LED hampered the sound, hampered the response. I tried some things to, I tried a lot of things actually. To make it work, it just wasn't working because it's a simple two transistor circuit, very sensitive stuff like that. But I got lucky in this case, the LED uh, not only didn't hurt it, but it actually kind of gave it some harmonic content. And the reason it's really cool is because it's got two modes. You got green mode and you got red mode. Green mode is basically the four transistor fuzz circuit. And then when you go to red mode, you're hitting an additional transistor, so five told. Um, in the booster, treble booster kind of, of a thing. And that's what's going on there. And we got, here, let's just hear it. That's the volume control. Here's the gain control. I kind of like things, you know, around there usually. And the tone control is right here. I usually like it at noon is when it's flat. I usually like it just a little bit treble booster. Just gives you a little bit of that attack through there. But it's really cool to get it actually built uh, in the actual form from the breadboard here. And um, anyway, so the booster mode. It's just, it's just a lot of fun when you do this. I've got it all the way down here tight. Here's full, but I like it tight. Because you can take a Telecaster. Oh, by the way, I'm playing a Telecaster into the pedal, into a Princeton reverb amp today. Just a little tiny Princeton with a 10-inch speaker. So that's where we're going. So you can take a Telecaster into Princeton, which normally you'd be playing, what would you be playing with that? You know, like a... I don't know, something like that. But with this pedal that you're going to help me name, you can like do, you know, fucking Judas Priest or something. You know, stuff like that. A lot of fun. So you can hear that. So uh, St Steve built this one. We got, we're a small team. We got four people. It's like me, and Steve, and Gene, who is filming back there today. Say hi to Gene, everybody. And then we have Scott, who we don't let out of the office. And um, anyway, Gene, uh, or Steve built this one the other day, uh, his first one, prototype. And he texted me from the shop. He goes, the thing rips. So I think enough said. Why put all these words to it? It's like, describe the pedal. 
the thing rips. Pretty much all I need to say. But it rips in a lot of different ways. So you go here, this is green rip. It's kind of more your sitting down, lounging kind of sound. Nice and relaxed and smooth. That's foreplay mode. Then when you really get into the grind, you do this, right? Um, so, hey, you know what? Let's take a look at this thing. So we're going to open this up. So this is a Kitty Caster FX. This is our form factor here. And the way you get into this, I've actually asked people, hey, go ahead and open this pillow. So you can figure it out. And they start trying to pry it open here, and they do all kinds of crazy stuff. But... It's the feet. It's the feats. So all you got to do is you just unscrew the feats. And we're really proud of this. This is kind of our one of our unique things here. They're threaded rubber feet, and they're not cheap, though. We just reordered them, and it could go a lot cheaper. I could do that stupid stick-on rubber feet, you know, where the adhesive starts smearing after a while. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. That sucks, and um, you could do other different things, but just really like this solution. And also, we keep this surface of our pedals blank because you're probably going to Velcro this. And if you Velcro this, you can put these feet away, and we give you little screws to go in here that are flush-mounted so you can Velcro it. But I've seen guys, like, sign their names or put stickers back here, but you're going to Velcro over it, so we leave that empty. Anyway... Let's zoom in here and look at look at this build. And so you got the breadboard and it translates to the build like this. Same parts as the breadboard, but here's the layout. And um, so like I said, we're a small team and we do everything ourselves. So I did the layout, the design, the layout, everything. And the design of this thing, um, just try to refine it until I'm happy with it. And it's part circuit topology, it's part bias points, and it's part just the sound of parts, like the capacitors. So if you see here, we got all these big yellow caps here. They take a lot of room, they're expensive, they're hard to find sometimes, but that's what gave me the sound that I was looking for. And um, that's what's going on here. And if I turn the pedal on here, so yes, there's those light up when you play because those are clipping, they're, they're light emitting clipping diodes, um, but they're under the hood. But if you want to enjoy it, you can, on Saturday night, you can like sit down and roll one and smoke it up and sit there and take the back off and, you know, look at it. So anyway, there's the build right there. You got the custom Kitty Caster battery here. And uh, this is our first prototype that Steve built. And it works. And it sounds great. And that's pretty much what's going on there. And um, here's the Groovy Wizard. So we've got graphics here, no graphics here, because we need a name. And we're still working on that. And you're still suggesting names. We're going to give a pedal away. It's going to be cool when we get that done. But... Um, Hey, let's do a comparison between this and this and see if they sound the same. They all sound the same, maybe. Maybe it's just all a scam. We're going to find out here in the next segment here. So, all right. All right. Hey, look, we got the unnamed fuzz pedal and the groovy wizard, which you guys hopefully are familiar with. And if you're not... Check out the video. There'll be a link at the end of this and check out what that's all about. But we're going to do right now a quick comparo. Let's compare these two. So we're just going to do the basic A chord comparison. Wizard. Okay, that was more than an A chord, so sue me. Now with the booster. Mm -hmm. 
So, you can hear the difference right there, but what I would say is with the Groovy Wizard, if you're looking for an always-on fuzz driver where you can just roll the guitar back or play softer and just leave it on the whole time, this is definitely the ticket because that's what I designed it for. So, if I'm doing this... I can just play softer without touching anything. Or I can turn the guitar down and get crystal clear. And then, you know, I can then now go. Totally clean. Roll it on up. With this, I view this as more of an on-off thing, like you're doing your clean part, you know, like I did in the intro. And then you hit this for the wall of sound. You know, you can turn it down too, but it, it cleans up in a different way, in a not as clean kind of way. So I just turned it down, so. Because I tried to make it open, even though it's known as a, the the American four transistor circuit that this is based on, more of a compressed brick wall kind of wall of sound kind of pedal. I I, I dial in a little bit of openness so that it still breathes, because that's what we want. <laughs> With the booster on. play with the knobs here. Let's turn the gain up a little bit here. See, to me, what I try to do with the Groovy Wizard is uh, when you turn the pedal on, it sounds like your guitar and amp. Just more. More drive, more volume, more. More dynamics. Because you can turn the guitar back down and get kind of your... You know what it sounded like when it was off. Magic, huh? It's the wizard. And it's a groovy one. And this pedal, which is called, wait, what is it called? Like I said in the last video, uh, the name of the game is Juicy Harmonics. Okay, all right. I haven't even tried this ever, so this is the world debut. I don't know. It might sound awful. It might sound great. Some of you are watching this going, turn them both on, turn them both on. All right. You asked for it. Groove Wizard on. Unnamed Fuzz also on. Booster also on. You could do that if you want, you know. I'm gonna leave that one up to you, but um, you can do that if you want. So that's it. Um, next video, we're going to um, get into some other stuff with this pedal. Hopefully, announce the name. 
hopefully announce the name and the winner. So that's what our goal is for the next video. But also we're going to do some humbucker action instead of all the Fender guitars I've been playing here and uh, see what it sounds like with the dual coil setup. And that's about it. So until next time, um, take care of yourself, keep rocking, and get off the freaking internet now after this video. Play your guitar.